Don't know what to tell you. But let's get into some current event news, all right? Uh, first topic I want to talk about is the brother R. Kelly. Can't catch a break, right? Now, R. Kelly... Let me, uh, R. Kelly, right? We know that, you know, Jennifer Bon Jean beat seven of the 13 charges that he was dealing with in Chicago, right? But he was still found guilty on six. Um, the New York case with Azriel and who else was in uh, the New York case? Mostly Azriel, right? This is very wrong to me. Like, this is very wrong to me, this restitution, just for Azriel. I don't know about any of the other girls or whatever, whatever. But for Azriel, right? Let me let me read this first. R. Kelly ordered to pay restitution of 300000 to his victim, right? Oh. Get a water. Badlands, what up, bro, bro? Right? Um, so, R. Kelly ordered to pay restitution of 300000 to his victim. The amount is meant to cover the treatment of herpes and psychotherapy for the abuse inflicted by the singer. A federal judge signaled on Wednesday that she plans to order disgraced R&B super, superstar R. Kelly to pay more than 300000 to one of his victims in a decades-long scheme to use his fame to sexually abuse his young fans. A restitution ordered by U.S. District Judge Ann Donnelly that was still being finalized is meant to cover the cost of treatment for herpes and psychotherapy. The victim, referred to only by a pseudonym, has accused the jail Kelly of giving her the sexually transmitted disease during one of their encounters. Kelly could be on the hook for tens of thousands of dollars more to pay for herpes treatments and counsel for a second, vic second victim once the final tally is calculated. The judge rejected a third claim by another accuser. 
the Grammy winning multi platinum selling songwriter appeared at the hearing in federal court in Brooklyn via video video from a lockup in Chicago and only spoke to exchange readings with the judge to turn down an offer to say more. None of the victims were in attendance. Earlier this year, Kelly was sentenced to 30 years in prison following a trial in New York, which the jury found him guilty of racketeering and sex trafficking. A second trial in Chicago ended in on the 14th of September with his conviction on charges of producing child pornography and enticing girls for sex. The question now in the New York case becomes when and how Kelly will pay the restitution. Prosecutors claim he has access to as much as five million to go along with about twenty-eight thousand seized from his MA commissary account that the defense attorney Jennifer Bonjean said was made up of small donations from fans. Bonjean told the judge that Kelly has no access to any other funds because judgment judgments in civil cases brought against him. She also is, is insisted that her client has also been clueless about his finances. He's not the best source of that information, she said. Kelly achieved superstar status for working with the 1990, oh, that's bullshit right there. <clears throat> What's the thing? Hold on, cuz. All right. The disgraced R&B singer has now been ordered to pay at least $309,068.18 in restitution to the victims of his sex trafficking. Sex trafficking? <laughs> According to the courthouse news service reporter, Kelly also owes $140,000 in fines and an assessment, according to this chick. As of now, $368,000. Wait, as of now, $300,668.18 will go to a survivor of Kelly identified as Jane. Jane, I believe, in the New York case would be Azriel. The other $8,400 will go to a woman identified as Stephanie. Who was Stephanie? According to the money will go to go towards the course of a course of therapy and herpes treatment for the women. The total could also rise as prosecutors determine the course of medication for Stephanie. Now, this is this is. Let me put R. Kelly back up again. You know what? Let me see
Let me put my copyright because I'm going to use these pictures under fair use. I will put my copyright disclaimer up here as a reminder that I'm using these under fair use. Now, as far as I remember, this would be Jane in the first case. The girl that was on Gail King two times and then did that interview, the third interview with the other guy and told three different stories. And then the transcripts come out and you see I mean, the phone records come out from the feds and you see the mother coached her from day one. It was a hustle. It was a scam. They knew about the Leah. They knew that he had a fetish or weakness, however you want to call it, for young girls. And they preyed on it. They played on it. They they strategically got their daughter in a situation with him. They allowed their daughter to date him, knowing his age, but they allowed it. Now, we all know 95% of that is R. Kelly's fault because he should know better than, I ain't gonna say he should know better, Morally, it ain't right for him to be dating young women to some people to the point where they that young that he can be tricked into them being one age younger than legal age limit. So, but as long as they're not illegal, it ain't, it's not illegal. Where the fact that they lied about her age, the fact that she was at it where he met her at was an adults only event where he shouldn't even have to question her age or anything. But ultimately, the parents. strategically linked her up with him on several occasions for her to whatever, do music. Well, no, no, not do music because the mother said in the text messages, this nigga won the F. So she knew that he wanted to be intimate with Azriel. It was no secret that he didn't, he wasn't interested in her music. He wasn't trying to do no music. He gave his number to, to pop off. The parents in this situation allow her to go stay with him. They sign over parental rights for her to go and live with him. They got money from her living with him. She was kicking back her whatever, uh, sugar daddy money she was getting whatever it was you know what I'm saying she was kicking back they was getting money then they come with the whole surviving R. Kelly stuff knowing that their daughter 
not only was voluntarily in a relationship with this man, but they encouraged it, they supported it, they enabled it, and they made it convenient for her to mess with R. Kelly. When their daughter got emancipated and, and pulled them off the nipple, and they was in, the daughter wasn't taking care of them no more, then it's the whole surviving R. Kelly. And then they make money off the surviving R. Kelly. From the footage that they shot, acting like their daughter was captive, pictures, licensing it to them, getting paid to be on there to tell their story. They made money that way. Meanwhile, Asriel is living a life that she wanted to because she was never captive. When her parents came and said, come on outside, she could have walked right outside. It was goddamn news cameras, all that goddamn shit out there. She didn't want to leave. She said that she we seen what she told Gail the first time. She wasn't no prisoner. She wasn't none of that, right? So, which means she was, she, she got titties. She got titties. He brought her titties. He bought her bags. He bought her gifts. He gave her monthly amounts. He gave her money to give to her parents. And they tricked him. If you look at the, the transcript, they key, key, key in behind his back, thinking their daughter's in love with him, and he's just a jokes. He's a lick. R. Kelly was a lick to the to the to that family. Right? He take care of this girl. Once again, he was wrong for dating her because even though she lied about her age, he shouldn't have been dating her, but she lied about her age and she thought he thought she was of legal consent. When he found out that she wasn't and he continued, that's why his ass is in jail right now. So I'm not giving him a pass on that. So when he found out, he should have left her ass to F alone. You know what I'm saying? But he chose to keep rolling the dice and shit. And and, it, and she was the one, just like the other girl, in the other case, the one he, he loved the most is the one that took his ass down, right? So my thing is this. She got to live good with him. She got to get his coaching, working on music. I'm sure she learned a lot with that. She got a lot of gifts. She got her titties done. She got to give her mother, her parents money. Ain't no telling where, where else she made money from. And knowing that they set him up, you tell me now she gets 300000 on top of that shit? You telling me they giving her $309,000 and sixty. Three hundred and nine thousand sixty-eight dollars and eighteen cent. And y'all know that her mother and herself manipulated the whole relationship. And y'all gonna give her three hundred thousand.
do this girl and her family. Not get any repercussions behind none of their actions for what they did. Like no repercussions. And she's rewarded 309,000. Even after you got the proof that the parents set this dude up as far as manipulating and everything with this relationship. And she gets 300,000 on top of it. R. Kelly was a super lick. Super lick. You heard how he was crying on that phone? He really thought this girl loved him. He was a lick. And now they're giving her 300,000. I know R. Kelly can't believe this shit. This is, this is like a movie that is like, he done had three sequels already with this whole thing. This, this is crazy. This is crazy. But, um, you know, much love and power to the victims that's out there that y'all yeah, would consider victims. You know, that's not, what they did is not what a lot of women done. A lot of men, women may have been victimized, you know, but some of these gold diggers, Some of these gold diggers, boy. <laughs>